Hey guys, what's going on? Jude the Nomadic Net Hunter here with Alex from Mushroom Revival. Just here to up in Massachusetts. Uh, the company is all about transparency, and that's why this video we're going to show basically we're going to put on all of our Tyvek suit, we're going to go right in front of the flow hood, and basically show real quick how to go from what wild harvest spores to the whole thing? Yeah, definitely. Beginning to end. Yeah, so um, we partner with a lot of foragers um, who go out in the wild around the United States, typically in the East Coast, um, and they find Cordyceps militaris in the wild growing on moth larvae in the Lepidoptera family. Um, and they'll clone it in the lab and get the, the DNA culture on a petri plate um, and send it to us to, to grow out. So we'll get this culture, we'll grow it out, um, and once we grow it out, we'll, we'll take a spore print. Uh, so we're getting new genetics, new seeds, we're seed saving um, for mushrooms. So uh, Cordyceps militaris have, has these little bumps on the side of the mushroom, and these are called parathesium. They hold the spores in a, in a sack um, called the parathesium and we can we can scrape off those bumps on the cordyceps and put them on an agar dish. An agar dish is just a nutrient dish where we can get the mycelium or the roots of the mushroom. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So everything is done. Obviously we're, we're wearing these suits, these Tyvek suits, um, face masks, Gloves. We're working in front of a HEPA filter. Everything is sterile. It's clean. Spray down our hands with alcohol to kill bacteria. Our tools, stainless steel. We can sterilize them in here. This is a facto incinerator. So. I'm going to cool down our tool. Grab a mushroom. We're going to scrape off these spores. So I chose this mushroom because it's really fat um, and I want to grow more of them. So we're going we're gonna to grab these genetics and these, these small spores are just going to land right on this nutrient dish and we can close the dish. So once this grows out, we can see this white mycelium start to form. And from this white mycelium, we can take from this dish, still in a sterile environment, and put it in something called a liquid culture. This is just honey water, and you can see the three-dimensional mycelium growing out on this honey, the sterile honey water. Hey, Alex, it's been a pleasure. I really appreciate everything that you've showed. It's been uh, awesome. So stay tuned, stay shroom. Um, thanks for coming in, man. It's yeah, been I awesome. It. I really do. I'm going to just put... I'll, there's so many links. He also has like his own channel, too, that goes over this like more in depth because I was only here for a short time at the moment. So I'm just going to try to throw that all there, either in the comments or on the link you know, over here. And, uh, you know, check it out. I mean, this stuff's amazing, and especially all these other tinctures that he's got. And some of them have been made, you know, you know, we'll put some love into it. So it's all good, man. <laughs> it's all love. Yes. All right. Well, check it out. It's like, subscribe. If you have any comments, just throw them there below. And everything else, have a great day. Remember, together we can grow a better future. Have a good one.